came across these little, these, this uh, uh, file of these moon pieces, hexagonal moon pieces, shrunk them down. I have a larger one here, you know, uh, but, it, it, but I, I cast it hollow and brilliant me, I forgot to put holes in it. So what I decided to do is just cut out the inside and portion of my resin out because there's no way even putting a couple of holes in it afterwards and draining it. Uh, it would, um, excuse me, it would, you could get it to cure inside. And I hear that, that wet resin can um, damage uh, the main part. So, But when I was doing that, I dropped it. And psh, typical of this kind of resin, it cracked in half. But I don't care. This thing took 11 hours to print. I'm not throwing it away. So I glued it back together and filled it here a little bit. This will be for the uh, large version pod that I'm doing. I'm doing one about... Uh, <laughs> I know that it's a, a, a an eight hour print, so I think it's going to be about uh, let's see about if you're looking at that piece, probably about this much taller than that what you're looking at, you know, and it'll be on its own separate base here. This one here, I ordered a wooden hexagonal uh, base from Amazon. I have to fix it and repaint it and stuff like that. I'm going to put this on top of it. Uh, and, yeah. And then that goes for that. And there's the little uh, strut supports. I'll put it in place. Just set in place, obviously. I haven't decided what color I'm going to paint them yet. Um, Got to still fix this guy's thing's pretty rough. I know it's All this mess here is <laughs> greeble parts, you know, uh, various stuff. The interior parts are in here, you know. Of course, that is there. There's more interior parts here. Some little dudes in chairs, you know. So uh, yeah, start painting the Palomino, as you know. Um, there's that part. Ran out, and there's some, supposed to be some more coming in today, but it's that dark bronze. Now, when I weather it down, it won't be so shiny and everything, you know. The, you can see it's not fully painted yet because I. You have to put more, you know, put coats on. It's a Krylon paint, so you don't want to put that stuff on heavy. So, I think I think it'll make a nice color for that, you know. And I'll finish off the interior and put some lights in it. Uh, the, the guy who helped me with this, uh, he separated the pieces so I can paint it. And then I like the fact that he put holes in there for the monitors, as well as I didn't notice, but they're very very small. I do believe that there's even holes. Yeah, see these tiny little holes there. Those are for fiber optics, I guess. I never noticed that before. So uh, that's very cool. Some up there too. Uh, yeah, it'll look neat. And then maybe a source light, a very dim source light up, up top here where you can't see. So you will be to be able to see through these tiny windows, you know. But yeah, that's so that's the end of this test video and uh, this up to date video. More changes on the RM rocket. I made the um, the radiation dome a little bit bigger. I just thought with the size of the engines and everything, it helped balance it out a little bit more. And as you saw the pictures of the the uh, cockpit area, I built that in. A little bit of spot filler on it, which I'll wet sand here quickly. Um, I went ahead and assembled this, my larger pod, that I want to display by itself. This one, of course, goes to that. And um, just got to put a dude in it, obviously. So, um, yeah, this will be a little more detailed, of course, because it's bigger. Uh, whatnot. There will be cables coming out of those little probes there. And they will on the smaller one, too. But not as much as this. Um, yeah, this will be the base for uh, the bigger one. That one will have a wood base to go with it, which goes with that ship. And uh, yeah, so that's 
Let's go on the arm rocket. I got a base coat on my Palomino, as you can see. Um, it, it, um, it's just a dark bronze color. Once I weather it down and black wash it and white wash it and dull it out, it should look all right. I still didn't finish putting the base coat on it because I got put some wraparound pipes on that bottom area that's still gray there. So, and of course, paint the interior too. That is getting there. I've got most of the parts for it. Just trying to work out the interior towards the back part of it. And uh, yeah, so that's what's going on.